Okay, so we don't know. We've just been playing with it. We don't know. Like you, you took seven there, but we don't know if that was the best strategy. Yeah. I don't know what's the maximum number it can be scrambled up. Like right. How I, far away it can get from the, its start. Yeah. So the the tricky part with five is that there's 120 ways to scramble. Yeah. So we're gonna try to investigate for a little bit and see what what we think is the uh, uh, is the answer, or to. We won't be able to answer for n blocks. In fact, it's unknown, even for 20. It's like, according to the number file video, for 20 pancakes stacked, nobody knows what the answer is. Hmm. Yeah. So how would you want to approach this problem? Well, if we had a, sim if we had a less number of cases, we could do all the cases. But we have 120 cases here, so we, we really can't do that. Okay. But we're going to try to look at a, look at a hmm. problem for n blocks, not just five. Well, we could start with like a simple case. All right. What what do you want to start with? We we'll first start with like one. Okay. How many flips is it going to take you? One. One. That's well, zero. zero flips actually. You're already there. Here. There's only one possible case. You're already there. Okay. And there's two. There's. What is the most number so of flips it could take you? This is the difficult case. Like this is you're already there. It's like this. You have to flip once, okay. and so once max, is the most it will take. Is one. All right. For n equals two, there's one. For n equals three. Well, let's see. So, if you wanted to get them, here's what we're looking at now. Like that, you had them. This. So. Or no block, and then it's. Oh, maybe. So. So, let's see. I don't know if this is the best way to do it. Well, actually, this one only takes a move. Okay, so that, that one you then can we do took in one. one. Well, what if we started them? What if we put them? None of them were in their starting positions. Like this. Okay. Let's see if we can flip once. And flip twice. Flips. It seems like. That if you put none of them in their starting positions, it it's gonna take the longest. Okay. So for this one, did it in two. So is there any? Well, anywhere where we leave this, if we leave this middle one, it's only gonna be one move. If we leave. Wait, 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 what? Like, or just make a better case. I might have. Well, you can just flip this whole thing. Okay. Just one move. If we can, if we leave the the black one in its original position, it's one move, okay. and the same for the yellow. And if we leave all three of them in their original positions, it's just zero moves. All right. So leaving none of them is the best way to go. To get the longest? Yeah. Okay. So you think it's two. All right, so let's try four. Hmm. Let's see if we can make some progress on four. And after we do four, we'll watch the video. All right, so if we try to put none of them in their starting positions, well, there's multiple ways you could do that. Yeah. Here's one way. So, started. Then, whole stack. This. One move, and then these for two moves. Okay. Alright. So, That's the best we can do. So, we leave the yellow one in its starting position, and then it basically just dis it goes back to the three case. Oh, interesting. Right here, the maximum is going to be two. Okay. Um, and if you leave, if you, and same for the, this one here, 
and let, if the middle ones are left in their starting positions, it actually gets more complicated. And, and this time you can actually leave like two in their starting positions and have the middle two or any two be the other, other two be different. Okay. So if you had like this, so you'd have two. Well, wait a minute. Well, actually. No, these don't match. Okay. So, what you have to do to put this one, the top, this one down, this one. So, it would be three moves. Okay, well, I'm a little confused because you said anytime I leave this one in the starting position, I've just reduced it to n equals 3, so that's that's what you have here. But we're also leaving this one in its starting position, too. But that's the same. Well, that's the same. But I guess it's different here, because what you can't do is you can't flip these two middle ones. Ah. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. It's a little bit different. So, so that was... Three. Turns out there's a little bit of structure here. So is there a way to do this one in two? No. No. Why do you say that? Well, because you can't... You've got these two... You have to get this square out of the way. Okay. First you, you move it to the bottom. Alright. And then... You can order them like this, and now they're in reverse order. Okay. And for the final move, you flip around. How interesting. So we learned something. Hmm. Okay. Well, now let's watch the um, number file video with Katie Stuckles and see see what we learned. Here. All right. All right. Well, but I guess before we do that, what's your guess for five now? Well, it seems from the pattern, it might go to four. Four is the maximum. Okay. And there's one thing I don't I don't actually know in the video. We might see that they go one, two, three, four instead. So maybe they count the the sort of no move as being your first uh -huh. move. So let's, if they do that, we'll just make sure we don't confuse. All right. All right, let's go to the video. Okay. 